Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new stream, and I'm going to be testing a few Scizor GX decks out today. Honestly, like, I would trade for a lot of the new cards right now, um, but I'm just going to wait till tomorrow until I, I can buy packs from the shop, and then kind of with what I pull, I can use that as a basis to see what I can get. There's really no point in getting GXs right now from the new set when it doesn't matter, so I'm just going to be testing out a few Scizor decks. This won't actually even be that long of a stream. It might only be, like, maybe, like, under 40 minutes, like... I'm not going to be streaming for long. I'm probably going out soon anyway, so I'm not going to have a lot of time. But if you are new to the channel on the stream, uh, subscribe and leave a like. Anyways, yeah, we're going to be testing out some Scizor GX decks today. And I'm actually pretty excited to see how these decks play. I just obviously uploaded a video using my Scizor uh, Muck deck. Literally just went live, um, like not even 20 minutes after me upload, uh, starting the stream. And I'm excited to see how we do today. Um, so this is the first Scizor deck that I, um, the other one that I built actually, and this is my tanky Scizor deck using Metal Frying Pan to give Scizor, let, like, kind of like a tankier aspect. You already know Scizor's attack, Steel Wing takes 30 less damage from attacks, and then you use Metal Frying Pan, and then Scizor GX takes even less damage. Danny, Luca, hello, yo, welcome to the stream, dude, how you doing? I'm just gonna be streaming for a little bit, it won't be a super long stream, it might only be like half an hour or 40 minutes. But I'm just going to be trying out some Scizor decks. And if you guys have any other Scizor deck suggestions than just the two that I have, my Metal Frying Pan Scizor deck and my uh, Scizor Muck deck, definitely leave a comment down below. Um, and I'm, I'll be, well, not a comment, but a, a thing in the chat down below. And, you know, we can try out some Scizor decks. Not, again, it's not a super long stream, but if you're into the stream, thanks for watching, guys. And I uh, you know, hope you guys enjoy the stream tonight. Um... So we're going to be testing out my Scizor decks. Again, I only have two right now that I've built. I've had, I have my Scizor Muck deck here. I just uploaded a video on it not even 20 minutes ago. If you haven't seen it, watch it. Gonzalo, live again. Yeah, I'm live again. Um, it's going to be a bit of a shorter stream. It's not going to be two hours. It might only be maybe half an hour to 40 minutes. But I'm just going to be testing out a couple Scizor decks. Scizor is the only card I have in Celestial Storm right now. I'm waiting for tomorrow for the shop to update um, so I can just buy packs. And then whatever I pull out of those 65 packs that I'm going to be getting... Um, from the shop with my 13k coins and kind of decide and, you know, see what, you know, I'm going to, you know, what I pull to decide what GX I get and what I have to trade for and what I don't have to trade for. So I'm just going to wait an extra day. So Scizor for now is kind of the only deck I have. And I thought I'd test out a couple Scizor decks. Um, so we're going to, you know, I just uploaded a video on my Scizor Muck deck. And uh, we can also test out Scizor with Frying Pan. And this is going to be a very fun archetype to try out. Uh, Scizor Frying Pan using stuff like Delmise to boost your damage, using Steel Wing and, you know, Metal Frying Pan. Um, and if you guys have any other Scizor deck ideas that you think could be fun to try out, definitely just leave it in the chat, and I'll, you know, I'll be glad to try and make it if I have the resources. So we're going to play a game with our Frying Pan Scizor deck to see how it goes. It's going to be really meme-worthy. Um, we'll see. I'm going to try and have some fun. And, uh, yeah, anyways... For everyone in the chat, how is your polls doing on Celestial Storm if you've opened any packs? Aloha, yo, Pokemon Master Devin, welcome stream, dude, how you doing? Um, just testing out Scizor right now, just gonna try out a few Scizor decks. I'm trying to Scizor with Frying Pan and Delmise. Um, this might not be a long stream, again, I don't have that many uh, packs. Scizor, Max Potion, Magnezone. That does sound like an interesting deck idea, Danny. I actually kind of think that's, that's interesting. Um, yeah, I, we could build that after, make like a rough little skeleton of that. Alright, we'll see how we do on the coin flip. We do win it. We could also, yeah, we could do like Metagross Scizor Max Potion. That I think might be a little bit better. I don't know. I think both of them are interesting ideas. We are going to start with Scyther and Delmise. I think we're playing against Greninja, uh, which might be a hard matchup. Not going to lie. Um, but anyways, yeah, how, if you guys have opened any, opened up any Celestial Storm Packs, how are your pulls going? How are your pulls going? I've opened up, oh, it is Greninja. Shake my head. This is going to be a very interesting game to say the least. Stream till you win three straight. Yeah, I could. Um, I'm probably maybe going to stream for like 40 minutes or so. It's not going to be a long stream. I am going out later today, or later tonight, I should say. All right, so we're playing against Greninja, which is going to be interesting. I kind of have to do copycat here. We'll attach a frying pan and just copycat, just so I don't draw the frying pan. See if we can get another Scyther. Mm, that works too. I mean, Scyther also could... Do 40 to Froakie. A Scyther with a Metal type and a Grass type, a Dual type. The kid next to me at Pruderly's pulled a Scizor GX and a Lolan Raticate GX without Rattata or Scyther. I would hate that. 
Um, when I did pre-release tournaments and I got a GX and I didn't like, or not a GX or an EX, or when I got like an Evolution, I should say EX is Zone Evolve. But yeah, when I got an EX or like, yeah, or a Mega, right? And I I didn't get the, uh, and I didn't get the pre-evolution to it. I was so cheesed. Um, pre-releases are always fun to go to though. I haven't been to one in forever because I don't play in real life anymore, uh, sadly. But uh, that would suck. I would be very very mad if that was me. Alright, so we'll see my opponent does. We actually got a bit of a weird hand. I don't want to lose both my blowers, but so be it. My opponent's actually just going to bring out Froakie, which I'm fine with. I can knock it out here. A um, little unfortunate. We're going to lose both our field blowers. We're going to have to see if we can adjust without it. But we get Scizor. We KO this Froakie. We do find our Scizor. We'll get rid of Nest Ball, and I guess Unit Energy can go too. Rip Rainbow Rare. By the way, the, the I actually got Full Art Scissor. I got it for 5 Celestial Storm Packs, which is a pretty big steal up for me when, like, this was, like, I mean, maybe, like, not even an hour into it. You go into Worlds or the Open. Unfortunately, no Gonzalo. It's a lot of money to fly out there. Also, I'm in Canada. I just don't, I don't even have enough points, even if I wanted to play in Worlds. But getting back into the game in real life competitively is something that I want to do in the future sometime, for sure. Connor H. That's just my friend Connor, by the way. Terrible quality. Kappa Ross. Uh, meanwhile, I pulled an Articuno and a Full Art Electrode. Yeah, though, I mean, those technically are the worst of the... Ooh, wow, we conceded. All right, there's one win. I guess those are, like, the uh, the worst of the GXs to pull. Articuno, I think, has some potential with Water Box. Electrode's interesting, but I think until Pulse Rotation happens and Fighting Types get nerfed a little bit, I don't see the card being too popular. It's going to be fun with in Expanded, though, with Hippopotas. I'm going to make a video on that very soon, especially before Puzzle gets banned. Connor. That's just my friend Connor, guys, in the chat. It's just uh, nothing. By the way, how long are you going to be playing hockey? Because uh, we're hanging out soon, right, Kappa? Alright, so we'll start with Reggie Steel. We'll probably not bench the Cell Steela. Hoping we can play against some new decks today. We might be playing as a Swampert deck. That'd be nice if we could play against some new decks. Um, okay. Probably just Cynthia. Maybe I should have been to Celesteela. Probably should have. Let's see if we find our Scyther. We do not. We do, but not find an energy either. Which kind of sucks. We will Nest Ball for probably a second Scyther. Hopefully we can draw out of this. No energy is a bit of a bummer. This might be a bit of an issue. But who knows? Who knows? Um, but yeah, going back to like Articuno and, full, and Electrode. Articuno, I think, definitely can work well, for sure. I think it's all right. I wish its GX stack was better. I'm not saying, you know, copy Tapu Koko, but yeah, I think if it had a better GX stack, I think Articuno would be a bit better. Again, it doesn't hit good numbers. 130 is not great numbers in this format. Maybe Pulse Rotation Articuno could work, but yeah, I, I can see Articuno being a, a good one or two of in water in Lapras decks. Okay, we're playing against Glaceon, which is actually pretty good. This is probably the best matchup we could ask for is Glaceon or Gardevoir. But uh, we're not going to beat Glaceon unless we draw well. So we'll have to see. Nice. Alright, we'll probably just get rid of Parallel City. Or Parallel Reverse Valley, sorry. Thankfully, if he was playing Glaceon, which it's pretty obvious he is with the DC and Water Energy, he didn't block my boy Lele. So that's actually pretty lit. So we'll drop the Lele. We'll grab Sycamore. Delmai is actually kind of useful here so that we can hit better numbers on Gardevoir GX. We might need two Delmises to one-shot Gardevoir. We should be able to win this game, though, pretty easily if he's playing Gardevoir. It's not a hard matchup. Uh, might as well just attach the Scizor and pass. We're, we're in a pretty good spot. If we can top deck Scizor GX, we can potentially knock out any EVs. You should play Pulse Rotation since Reverse Valley it won't be. Yeah, I mean, for now I'm just going to play World Format for a few weeks. Um, I do want... Ooh, just playing Crushing. Ah, that's fine. We have Turbo Arm. I do want to play Pulse Rotation builds eventually for Celestial Storm. I'm still going to be doing Pulse Rotation deck battles. Um, with you guys, if you got, you know, how I, you know, talk to people, um, on my friends list, stuff like that, he can see. This deck is making me, I can't even get a prize. This deck, Metal Frying Pan, is too intimidating. Um, but I'm still gonna be doing, uh, Celestial Storm deck battles and post rotation Celestial Storm deck battles, for sure. Hey, I just finished preparing for Worlds today, and it was exhausting. Well, are you, uh, Swag, did you add any, um, um, like, Celestial Storm cards to the mix? I'm um, playing post rotation to get used to it. I need to get used to it, too, not gonna lie. Um, it was kind of hard getting used to it before Cesto Storm, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm still going to be doing uh, post rotation deck battles once like the Cesto Storm hype goes away a little bit. The kid on the other side of me pulled a Ray GX. I got so sad, and even 
offered him a rainbow Pikachu, rainbow Guz, or anything else I had, he turned down my request. Rip, that's insane. <laughs> Anyone who pulls a Rayquaza at a pre-release is, like, basically going to win the whole pre-release event. You just build that thing up, and it's so easy to, like, get prizes with it. It's nuts. Another... Ooh, wow. Greninja again, possibly. Hopefully it's another, like, Glaceon. That's two wins, yep. But it, not really much of a game, though. I barely... I don't even... I barely attacked, so... It is what it is. We'll see if it's Greninja again. Greninja again, I think, could be a tough game. Uh, do you go to the Pokemon League near you? Not anymore, Smock. The one near me... I actually... I may have mentioned this already, but I actually I ran into uh, the guy who owns the league. Um, I ran into him at the movie theater like last week. It was kind of insane. Me and him were like saying hi and whatever. It was, it was like, oh, I haven't seen you in like four or five years since I kind of stopped going to the league. But it was kind of cool. Nah, but unfortunately, I don't. No, can people stop playing Greninja? Um, I'm. Oh, I guess Cynthia it is. The his Greninja everywhere we look. All right, we'll see if we can get Scyther Energy. Nope. Okay, that's actually a bit of an abysmal hand. Um, I guess we'll attach to Dalmize. We can draw, I guess, a unit energy and knock him out. We built the following. Ray, GX, Gardevoir, Zoark, Glaceon, Zoark, Zoro, Guard, Zoro, Pod, and Zoro, Rock. Zoroark, man. Oof, that card. I don't know. I'm hoping Zoroark kind of kind of leaves a little bit of, like, it's not as popular post-station, but dang. I think Gardevoir might have potential to win Worlds two years in a row. If people play, if not people play Rayquaza GX and Ultra Necrozma or something like that, I could see Gardevoir winning Worlds two years in a row. It's highly likely. Okay. He's got the bling too, so he ain't messing around. Dang it. I can't really do Guzma. I'm tempted to just to Guzma him and then pray he doesn't have an energy. I guess that's my, I don't know. This isn't good. Not a good start for us, unfortunately. It's not a good matchup, though. Greninja is just annoying. Hey, my f my favorite Celestial Storm deck. Do you think it will be Tier 1 or Tier 2? But Peter, are you talking about Scizor? But yeah, I think Scizor is potentially going to be Tier 2 at the most. I don't think it's, like, insanely good, but I think it's got a lot of potential. Depending on how good Fairy types start getting, once Dragon types get a lot more relevant, we'll probably see, you know, Fairy get more popular. Scizor hype? Yes, Nathan. I'm excited. Scizor is my, probably my favorite GX in the set. It's really underrated. We have like 24 Zoarks. Dang, Swag, that's insane. That is nuts. Zoark, man. Yes, yeah, Peter. I, I like Scizor a lot. Um, I think, again, it's my favorite Jackson set for sure. It's fun to play. Um, but yeah, I just uploaded a Scizor mock video, so if you haven't watched that video yet after the stream, you, know, you guys can go check it out. It was a fun video. Fun video. I got two good games against a Malamar deck and a Buzzwell deck. The Buzzwell deck was really, like, it came down to the wire. I'm not going to say what happened, but it was a good game. Um, I'm in trouble, though. If we can top deck at the very least a unit energy, we can take out Frogadier, which might be a good... Okay, we actually did top deck unit energy. Not bad. Um, not the greatest spot to be in, though, still, not gonna lie. We can still Delmize two Shocker Ninja, I guess. I don't know. Guard will die in October because of the new Sogaleo GX we are getting. Oh, yeah, I forgot that new Sogaleo. Hmm, we'll see. I don't know. I think there is a lot of metal types that can just smack Gardevoir across the face. And there's not really any good text Gardevoir can play to counter metal. You know, they're losing Gallade, so it sucks for Gardevoir. I don't know. I think Gardevoir Pulsertation is still a decent pick, but there is a lot of metal types. Not, you know. I think N Naganadel, um with Stack Attack is going to be a really strong archetype. Not only just Pulsertation, maybe even World Stack Attack and Naganadel could win. I don't know. But I, I do think that Gardevoir is still good. It's just there's so many metal types that can just smack it. So many metal types. All right, we're not in a good spot, though. We'll see what he does. He might Shadow Stitch me and then choose to knock me out next turn. Moonlight Slash might be the better play because then yeah, if I draw a Lele, I can't play it. Fire Will Return. Yeah, I'm, I don't... For, I, yeah, I knew he was going to do it. I knew he was going to Shadow Stitch me. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't um, give us the... Um, uh, the, the other Blaziken. That makes no sense. I, I, I can't, I don't get that. I, I'm pretty angry about that. I was hyped for Blaziken GX. I thought that was going to be a fun kind of Metagross type deck where you set up multiple Blazikens with, you know, the non-GX one and then you set up the EX Blaziken. Sadly though, uh, for some reason they just didn't bother putting in the set, which is kind of annoying. I, that Blaziken would have made fire types a lot more relevant. I don't know why. It's kind of annoying that they didn't do that. I think I just knock out Froakie. Or I hit him, for, I guess, we'll have to hit him for 70. 
I guess. I don't know. This is not a good spot to be in. I guess he can't retreat now. I mean, I could have also bought out Starmie and done that. And then he can't retreat. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Not a good spot, though. If you go to Poke Beach, the new set Lost Thunder will have around 210 cards. I saw that. That is bonkers. That is just bonkers. That, hey, <laughs> jeez. That's insane. That's one of those sets where you have to get, like, an insane amount of packs. Like, usually I'll get, like, 100 plus packs when I pre-order packs, but this is a lot of packs. I might have to get, like, 200 plus. Open 10 packs Celestial Storm on PCGO. Not even as much as a holo. I feel like this set doesn't have the best pull rates, but there is a very good in this set. I got three hollows, two GX, one full art scissor. Good way to kick off rotation. A prism star. Yeah, I don't know. I find that pull rates for me in, um, on, um, yeah, I find that my pull rates are always really weird on day one. Especially the lock packs. I think I just scoop here. I don't really want to play this game out. If he gets another Greninja break and play it, I'm over. Talking about Naganadel. The one from Dragon Majesty is not Dragon type, just an alternate art. VTB and sleeves look cool though. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot about that in again though. Alright, we'll do another game with Frying Pan and Scizor. If you guys have any other Scizor deck suggestions, uh, definitely leave a comment down below. Or in the chat, sorry, if you guys have any other cool Scizor decks. Um, oh yeah, that Max Potion Metagross one, that, or the Magazine one, I, I should, I forgot about that. Maybe after this we'll build it. So is it better to open or trade packs? I, I'd say trade Gonzalo because it's not always guaranteed you're going to pull what you need, and you don't want to get into, like, the habit of opening packs to gamble for cards. It's not a good, it's not a good habit, just in real life, especially when you're playing at casinos, but, it, yeah, just because, just because I gamble quite a bit, but, um... Yeah, I would say trade your packs. I think you get more value out of that. Like, okay, you open your pack, you pull a really good card. But if you open your pack and you pull, like, a really bad holo card or, like, a really bad rare, you potentially could use that pack. I I did a video, one of my most viewed videos with 22k views is a video talking about um what to do with your packs to get richer. And it's honestly save them up. I would just save them up. What if I play for worlds? There's so many options. Okay, my pick for worlds would probably be... Um, I don't know. I would probably end up just playing, like, Buzzrock for Worlds, potentially. I'd probably play Buzzrock. If I if I had, like, access to a lot of cards, Buzzrock. Scissor Zoark. Yeah, that's another deck I was considering, Peter. And I could have traded the 10 packs for a Rainbow Rare Alternate Croth, and it feels bad. Yeah, I mean, that's why that's why I don't open my packs. Like, okay, if you pull a good card, you can trade off for, like, a card. Okay, I need to keep playing. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, my bad. My bad. My bad opponent. All right. So we're we're just gonna we're gonna play our turn out here. I feel bad for for taking that long. Um, I think we'll get rid of a metal energy and probably just rescue stretcher. Looks like we're playing against Venusaur or Sceptile. Thankfully, we're only playing two Ultra Beasts in this set or this deck, which we probably won't even use. I mean, Cartana's useless. Celesteel is okay, but Scizor can put in work. I might as well end him. That is a good choice. I have that built. Yeah, I would say Buzzrock. Just, probably just a vanilla Buzzrock deck, maybe with triple Buzzwool, triple baby Buzz, sorry. I think that's probably the way to go, I don't know. Oh, I shouldn't have done it, rip, I'm gonna hit him with an angry face. Shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I would probably just play Buzzrock, though. Either Buzzrock or Zoropod with, like, counter catchers and, like, four Guzmas or something just to, like, beat Malamar. I don't know. I think, I don't know, like, the thing is, depends on how popular Rayquaza is going into the tournament. Gamble, you say, interesting. Yeah, it's a gamble, like... If you have, like, say you have four packs, and you can trade those four packs for the cards you want, and then you open them, you might pull the cards you want, but if you don't, I don't know. I'll still remember when Shiny Legends first came out, I got two packs on pubs for, like, a really good snipe. It was only two Shiny Legends packs. And that was just an awesome day for me in general, just for stuff. <laughs> but I remember pulling a Rainbow Rare Zoark, and I still have that on my account. I remember pulling that Rainbow Rare Zoark out of two packs, and I was like, there's no way I'm going to pull a Zoark. And I needed at least one Zoark to make that Zoropod video that day. I remember, that was an insane pull. Um, I think we'll just break through him for now. Um, yeah, we'll break through, hold the copycat, and just snipe the uh, Genesect, I guess. We could hit Lorantis. Hmm, maybe we should have, because then I can cross and cut it, or cross cut. I keep calling it cross. Do you play regular TCG? Nah, Peter, I used to play in your life. I play Malamar, Necrozma. Yeah, Mal I think Malamar, Vanilla, Necrozma, with like a couple of Hoopas. Um, the non-GX Hoopa is a really good, a really good way to play Malamar. That's the one that I've been playing around with a lot. Um, normal, a very, very good build, yeah. Alright, let's see what my opponent does. Turn to Venusaur, potentially. Um, I don't see any Sceptiles, though. 
Maybe he just doesn't need it. I mean, I don't know. I'm excited for Sceptile. I think Sceptile is another really interesting card. I don't know how it is right now, but Pulse Rotation, Ultra Beast, get, I think Ultra Beast are going to be good Pulse Rotation. It is pretty standard, yeah. Alright, let's see what my opponent um, gets here. Yeah. If you get Venusaur and a Floatstone and a Knockout with Genesect, that's going to be pretty scary. Genesect's a bit of a big threat, I'm not going to lie. I'm actually kind of scared of Genesect. I can't one-shot it. And it ramps up so much energy, the bulk of, like, Frying Pan and Scizor and Reverse Valley almost doesn't even matter. So I don't know. We'll see. He does find a Float. That could be Rare Candy Venusaur, for all I know. Mm, energy Reload, okay. Looks like he will take a knockout here. He's doing exactly 110. That's fine. He takes a prize. I might have to copy cap for three. It's not preferred, but I might have to. I played around with it. It was a little bad because you can't B-string and it's slower than Ultra. Mm, uh, the problem with the Ultra build, I think, is just that Ultra Necrozma is kind of... I don't know. Ultra Necrozma needs two different energies. The vanilla one is... I don't know. It's, it's kind of weird. Um... We'll put down a second Dolomize for sure. This is awkward. I could just simply Guzma up like this Bulbasaur and try and buy a turn. But if I can get uh, Genesect, I could always Agility if I really need to fall back. Or I can just Retreat. Because I already have an Energy on me. I'm not a fan of doing Copycat for three. So maybe I go into Lele, stay in the active, and then Guzma a second time. I guess that's my play. I don't really want to copy Cat for three. I mean, if I do get Scizor, then it was worth it. But if I don't, it's not worth it. My best friend got, like, 25th with Ultra Necrozma at North American International. Hmm. Ultra Necrozma is way less consistent. Tested both, but Necrozma regular is way stronger and faster. Yeah, the vanilla version, um, I feel like is a little more, like, it's not, like, I would say it's more consistent, but the Ultra Necrozma version hits better numbers a lot of the time. It's a toss-up, I think. I think both builds are two really good builds, but it's a toss-up between which one you favor. This guy got Guzma? Bruh. Um, alright. That's pretty bad. Alright, we're in trouble. Well played. Alright. I see you. Um, I doubt he's playing... Yeah, I doubt. I doubt he's playing Sceptile at this point. Even if he is, it doesn't matter. If I put down Cell Stealer, or I do... Do I attach the Cell Stealer, though, is the question. Might as well... I don't know. Not a great start for us. At the league I go, do I use Sceptile, Glisspot, Zork, and it's really good. Also one Letheon for its Evo GX. Oh, that's a pretty good combo. Um, we got, I might as well put him down, I guess. Do I sacrifice Dalmize, or do I just sacrifice Dustman? I think Dustman's just better. I don't know. Dalmize? Actually, let's keep Dalmize alive. I think Dalmize is more important here. That 10 damage could come in handy with Celesteela to one-shot Genesect. When will Lele go down in trade value packs? Uh, probably when the promo comes out. I didn't get to make much. Um, I didn't get to make much decks. My openings. Don't get me wrong. I got a, quite a bit of great cards. It's not enough to start making decks with it yet. Uh, it's all good, Timmy. If you got this coin saved up tomorrow, it's another great way to just keep getting packs. I mean, I've tried both, but a little normal worse because you have three Malamar to spam attacks very soon. The reprint. You know about? Yep. I don't know. I think honestly, if I were to play uh, Necrozma, I would probably play the vanilla version, but. The Ultra Necroma version is good, too. I think both decks are still, like... I mean, they're both pretty much, arguably, top top decks in the format, for sure. Uh, we'll let him to three. Get DCE would be amazing. Rip, we didn't get it. Okay. I mean, self steal can tank a hit, I guess. Um, we'll attach. I guess we can ace roll it next turn. That's a pretty good positive. Um, yeah, if you guys have any deck suggestions for any scissor ideas... Outside of Scizor Frying Pan and Scizor... No, the end. No, why did the end me? Okay, hopefully I still get my Ace Roller back. Or at least a Lele and a Scizor. Okay, that works too. Oh, he does get Venusaur. Okay, I think Frying Pan still saves us here. He's only got one card in his hand too, so as long as that's not a Sycamore. They're both good, but I'd rather play something like Zork or Buzz. Yeah, I think Malamar is one of those decks that, like, your opponent can beat you by knocking out Malamar. That's why decks that rely on stage 2s, like Venusaur or even Vika Bull Oh, he knocked me out. I didn't even see that coming, no. Wow, okay, this is bad, this is bad. Probably lose this match. Wow, that was a good top deck. A little too late, though, because I already walked, lost my stroller. Um, okay, well, DCE... Actually, I could have knocked him out with Tapu Lele. 
Why didn't I just do that? Why didn't I just knock him out Lele? Wow, I'm an idiot. Okay. I agree. I don't get those Malamars out rip. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, when I'm playing against, like, Zoropod... Um... Okay. Let's do this. I want to see if I can hit Delmize. And okay. Oh, I don't have any ends left. Okay. We'll have to waste for a GX attack on him, which is horrible. Yeah, this is horrible. I'm going to have to burn my GX attack on him. Something I don't want to do. I mean, I don't think we're going to win this, to be honest with you, but it is what it is. Uh, how many DCs do we have left? Okay, we got one. We could draw it. I don't know. I guess we'll cross cut him. I don't. This is just a bad spot to be in. I was hoping I could end him and get Dalmize down in the same turn. End to one with like the Winako could be. You know, could we could get a make maybe maybe a little comeback. But not now. Nah, things are looking too hot right now. Not looking hot. I actually. You know what'd be funny? Maybe Scizor is like a good one up. Nah, I'm just kidding, but. It could be a good one of in like alternate cross Malamar. Um, I don't know if you play Choice Ban. I guess you can use it to one shot Gardevoir. It's, I mean, it's a dumb idea. Oh, you can't one shot Gardevoir. Never mind. All right, that was a dumb. I that was a dumb idea. All right, we probably lose here. Uh, maybe maybe not. He's probably gonna go Lorantis. Oh, maybe he isn't. Never mind. We're probably gonna lose though. I don't see how we're winning. Crosscut, GX, Blisspot, anyone? I know, Crossing, Cut, and Crosscut. I keep I keep getting those names mixed up. I actually pulled a Scissor or GX. It's one of my great pulls. I also pulled Blaziken, Rayquaza, Mr. Mime, Bayonet, and Stack Attack as well. Nice, Timmy. I mean, those are decent cards. Rayquaza, I mean, you can, honestly, if you wanted to build, like, a Stack Attack or, like, a Bayonet deck, or even a Blaziken deck, you can just trade off Rayquaza, get a couple of those GXs. He actually just brought out Lele. It looks like he's in a predicament. Okay. Um... Ooh, you know, we actually could have done Moonraker. Alright, well, Sycamore. I could Ultra Ball. Honestly, I don't even care. I'm just going to dump the Sycamore, dump the hand. Okay, we got Reverse Valley. And we got another Energy for our other Scissor. So we're a little... Now we're tanking a little bit. We're too shot and tanking. Which is good. I don't know how we can win this, but, you know, we can try at least take as many prizes as we can. I got Scissor Full Art and Pre Release all well. Scissor Full Art and Pre Release would be really good. Like, in Pre Releases, you play against Pokemon that don't actually do too much damage, and then you get under 100 HP. Scissor can take the rest of the game just off Steel One. Scissor would be a really good pull for Pre Releases for sure. Even, no, actually, no, Lolan Raticate, probably not so much. I also got Full Art Steven's Resolve and Secret Rainbow, Rainbow Energy. Rainbow Energy Secret Rare is a nice pull. Full Art Steven is really good. I think Steven with Metagross is. I, I'm not saying it's like. It's not tier one, but it's one of those decks that, like, I see a lot of potential in. Like, you play, like, a split Metagross line, play four to three Steven's Resolve. It's a really good combo. Do we KO him? I mean, we could just start attacking him now. We're not going to two-shot him, though, which is the only issue. But I don't hate that. I could have knocked out Lele, but I don't mind this play that much either. Never got a Scyther, though, rip like Garchomp. Yeah, Scyther's uncommon. I actually had to trade off. I think I had to trade off, like, a... I don't know. No, someone actually gave me the Scythers for Remoraid, right? I, I talked to a guy and just gave them to me, but... I was struggling getting Scythers, too, when I was trying to get Scythers for the Scizor deck. I was struggling to get four of them. So Stevens is a rare, too, which kind of sucks. It's one of those cards that's, like, it's a rare, so it's bad. Okay, looks like he's just gonna Flower Supply. I think we'll still get pwned by this Gaia Blaster... We are out of ends. Scott Mogul, yeah, he's probably just going to goose me up, in all honesty. But, you know what, it's the thought that counts. You know, at least we're going to start taking a couple prizes. I don't mind that. Scizor tank is pretty lit. I mean, we're taking 70 less damage here, right? We got this on. We got this in play. We're taking 70 less damage. We're probably going to get knocked out. All right, guys, got to bounce. If I don't see another stream before Worlds, wish me luck. All right, Swag, good luck in Worlds, bruh. Have a good night, and uh, thanks for stopping by. I'll probably stream a couple more times. Maybe tomorrow, depending. I'm going to do the pack opening video first. I'm, I was thinking of streaming the pack opening, but I want to make a video on that. I mean, I could upload the stream of that and then upload the video of that, but that literally, it's uploading the same video twice, which is pretty stupid. I think I got a few Scythers. Yeah, like, it's uncommon. It's harder to get. 
I opened up four of my Celestial Storm packs that I, that I pre-ordered, and I, I didn't get a single GX. Best thing I got, I think, was Manetric. But, yeah. No Scythers, which sucks. I'm just waiting for tomorrow. Not really going to go crazy on the trades today. I mean, I'm trying to trade off the secret Rayquaza I have. I pulled, I didn't pull it, but I traded 15 Celestial Storm Pack for a Rainbow Rare Rayquaza, which is kind of insane. It's a, I think that's a huge steal because Rayquaza is worth quite a bit. It's not too, it wasn't like the most insane, he's in himself the one. It's not the most insane trade on the planet. Alright, we got our Fuel Blower, beautiful. And he's only doing 100, wow, Venusaur 3 energy is only 100 damage. That's tragic. He's got one card in his hand. He's a little low on energy, so I'm probably safe. How many Guzmas do I have left? That's my last one. If I could knock this out, I could win next turn on Lele. I might as well attack him and just pray he doesn't have energy for gaining. I don't know. And then retreat another Scizor. I guess that's my play. I mean, I'll have to get an energy, but that could happen. Hi, yo stupid name 47. Nice name by the way, Kappa Ross. But yeah, welcome to stream, dude. How you doing? I'm just testing out some scissor variants. It's not gonna be a long stream, by the way. But yeah, I'm just testing out scissor. It's like alternate crossman the set, having very big hopes. The alternate crossman is that. Just not to be lazy enough, I got tons of code. Let's trade. Are you talking to me, uh, Gonzalo? You talking to me, Gonzalo? Okay. If we can draw an energy here, this could be big. That's not an energy. Okay. We knock him out, we might still be able to live the turn. We might actually win this game. If we win, I don't know what to say. We just gotta pray... We won the... How did we win that? This dude was down to one prize, or two prizes, and we managed to win. Scizor is... That is GG. And we got 110 coins out of that in total. That is bless. Oh god, I still have trade chat open. I was trying to trade off my case. Did that trade go through? Yes! 26... Beautiful. Back up to 100. Awesome. I'm back up to 100 Celestial Storm Packs. I was trying to trade this off for two Rayquaza regular arts. I got impatient. I was spamming pubs. That's why I was spamming uh, the trade chat. That's why I have it open. No one was really accepting it. If anything, people were like, yo, it's a little dark for you. But I'm trying to trade. Hey, yo, Casey Wilson. How come... Oh, sorry. I mixed that one. Casey Wilson. Welcome stream, dude. How you doing, bro? How you doing? I'm just testing out Scizor. All right, guys. So we're going to try out Scizor, Metagross. Um... Scissor Metagross Max Potion. Let's try it out. We could also try out Scizor and Expanded. That could be a possibility, but Expanded, obviously no one cares about that right now. It's all about Standard. I I think, though, for my Blaziken video, because Blaziken kind of doesn't work right now in Standard, I'm going to be doing a Ho-Oh Scizor, or Scizor, Blaziken Blacksmith Ho-Oh deck in Expanded with Sacred Fire. So I'm going to try that out very soon once I get some Blazikens. Back up to 105 packs, so it's nice to see. Build Zorark Scizor. Yeah, I'll build that, Peter. Um, I mean, I might as well just build that now. I don't know. The Max Potion Engine is an interesting combo with Scizor. I think, really, though, the only pro... I can probably go two Scizors. The only problem I see with that combo, though, unfortunately, is that you want to have under... You want to have low HP. I don't know. We could do Metal Frying Pan Max Potion. Tomorrow, I've got an X Raid to go to, and I might pick up at ETB while I'm at it. All right, Pokemon, that's sick. I'm telling you, boy... Kiawe Pulse Rotation is awesome. ho -Oh, yeah. ho -Oh, Kiawe Pulse Rotation might be pretty strong. Um, at least they now have Mysterious Treasure for Lele, so it's really easy for them to hit what they need. Okay, let's, um... We need to add Zoarks. Almost forgot about that. As much as I hate Zoark, there is a Zoark Counter Energy deck that will always have a special place in my heart. Minior, what does this do? Steelix? Okay, this is another really interesting card. I want to I want to try out Steelix with like bodybuilding dumbbells and Delmize. I think it's actually a really hilarious deck. Okay, so what else would I mean it's kind of just your simple Zoar deck. It's not like it's not too complex, obviously. We're just gonna have a bunch of rogue attackers. Um We can play Unit Energy. So yeah, we can play Kartana. Definitely a one of in this deck, I think. Um, what other Pokemon? Okay, so we go metal, we go basic. 
What, okay, what other Pokemon can we put in this deck? I, Dustman, I don't mind either. We don't have... I mean, I don't want to go crazy on the attackers. I could always... Mm, it's either I play Dust, the baby Dustman. I could also put Cobalion in. I actually like Cobalion quite a bit in here, too. Um, I don't know what else to run in this deck for basic attackers. I could play the Celesteela once again. Actually, you know what? I'm playing Ready Steel. This card is a boss. I love it. I love Ready Steel. I think we're going to play Ready Steel. I think that's fine for Pokemon, anyways. Maybe we run Latios, but I think we'll be okay. Um, Alright, so we'll go 4 DCEs and we'll play Metal. I could play Unit Energy also, but I think we'll just go for Metals. Maybe play 5? 5 or 4? I think we'll go four, because we have puzzle. Five seems fine. So, seems good. We'll play three choice bands. Play two Cynthia. I honestly can't, I don't really know how to build Zora deck from scratch. I was just copy and paste the Zora list. Drampa. Hey, Drampa, good work. Yo, Chris, welcome stream, dude. Richard, welcome stream, dude. How you guys doing tonight? Um, just doing a nice little short stream here. Just testing out some Scizor variants. I'm going to play one E-Hammer to complement my Kartana. I'm going to play an Evo Soda, because we're playing multiple evolutions. Play two blowers. Gotta add the normal cards you see in Zoark. Four Puzzle of Times. Four Ultra Balls. I could play Mysterious Treasure, but I don't think it's needed. What else would be interesting in here? That's the thing. I think one N is fine. We need four Bridgets? Either four or three. I think we'll go three. Three Bridgets is fine. Yeah, Fury, let's trade. All right, Gonzalo, what, what do you want to trade for, though? That's the thing. So I don't have a lot from Celestial Storm to trade, and I'm very, like, hesitant on what I actually do end up trading off. Uh, I guess we'll go two floats. Actually, no, we'll go one. It's fine. Want to play three Guzmans? Um, okay. So I guess this is, like, the basic skeleton. Oh, yeah, it's Parable City. Actually, we could play Valley, too. No, mm, nah, we'll just go with two Parallels. That's fine. Okay, so we got room for text. We got room for more cards. I might be forgetting stuff, but uh, what else could go in this deck, do you think? Too bad puzzles are being banned. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I kind of don't mind puzzles getting banned. I know people don't like see hearing that, but I've always just despised puzzles when I'm playing against Night March. I've, I just always hated it, but it is going to be missed. There's fun There's fun combos you can do with it in decks that aren't Night March or Zor, especially in like the Hippopotas deck. Archie Maxi's decks, um, like Gyarados Galley, is going to miss it quite a bit. I don't mind counter catcher in here either. Wish I had, uh, the Lankwin and counter catcher both seem like good one of. Maybe I don't think I have any supporters from the new set. I don't even know how much I have. Bill's maintenance garbage. We already have that. We don't need fisherman. We don't need underground expedition. Nah. Oh yeah, Macargo, but I don't have Macargo. But I don't think we need Macargo in here. Or maybe we do. We have to message looking for lots of things. All right, Gonzalo, uh, do I have you on PCGO? Um, you can send me a friend request right now. I'll just, I hate to do this, but I can unfriend somebody that I don't see online that much. Oh, I hate unfriending people on this game. It's so sad because they still go online. Dang it, I don't know who to unfriend. Hmm. Actually, well, just tell me your in-game name, Godzilla. Your full arts are beautiful. Thanks, Chris. Thanks. I'm trying, I still, I need to get a, uh, I need to get a secret rare counter catcher. All right, what else do we add to this deck? Stretcher is, okay, yeah, stretcher, stretcher. I just forgot. We, we need stretcher. We're still in the Parallel City meta. Um, what else? Uh, we got room for one more card. Could play, like, a meme card, like Hustle Belt. Could play Friend Ball. Friend Ball's actually not bad. If you're playing as a Mirror Match Zoark deck, it gives you a free Zoark. Kid Kingler 11? Alright, actually, I'll, I'll add you right now. I'll see if the uh, friend request goes through. It might be full, though. Hashtag, I need demo count kappa. Alright. King, King. Dang it, yeah. Okay, hold on. I don't want to unfriend anybody, but I gotta do what I gotta... I just gotta unfriend someone I don't see online that much. I would unfriend Mike PCGO because he doesn't upload videos anymore, but I don't know. Lando TCG. Okay, that friend request hasn't even gone through, so I guess we can remove that. Yeah, okay, there you go. I sent the request to King King. We'll have to talk after the stream, though. Apricorn Maker? Apric Apricorn. Oh my god. Apricorn. Let's check it out. I actually don't remember what that does. It's one of those cards I can't remember what it does. What is actually Pokenap? Okay, Pokenap would actually be a nice one of in this deck too, I guess. 
I don't mind Kane lies in this deck either. Um, that's not Apricorn. Make Apricorn. Can't say the name. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh yeah, it's A. Okay. Search your deck for the two item cards that have the word ball in their name. Reveal them. Mm, yeah, that could be decent here. You technically could get two Ultra Balls and then get double Zoark. I don't know. I don't mind that. Um, I think we're okay on attackers. I think at this point we can just play like another like meme kind of card. No rush. I'll log on tonight and upload all my codes and trade. All right, Gonzalo. Sounds good. A multi switch. I don't mind either. It's one of those decks that need two energies to attack. On yeah, I guess multi switch is the play then. Sure. Okay, seems good. We'll see how this deck pairs off. Zork. Scizor. See, we'll, we'll we'll do a game or two of this deck. See how it does. If you guys have any other Scizor deck ideas, just drop them in the chat. And uh, we can build that after. Let's put on a random deck box. Let's make this go by quicker. Okay. Um, let's favorite that. I'm actually, I, I'm going to show you guys some of the decks that I've built preparing for when I get these cards. Shifty Garb. I don't want to play Shifty Zork. It's too generic. I'm going to play Shifty Garboder instead. That's the Shifty Garboder list. Get a quick glance at it. Um, stack Attack and Aganida. I mean, it's a simple list, but I'm probably going to be doing that. Not much other Stack Attack of decks. Um, another deck. Uh, frying Pan. Nope. Did I not favorite most of them? Well, I must not have. Okay, well, you get a glimpse at my uh, Shifty Garb deck then. Are you from Canada? Yes, I am, Chris. I am a Canadian. Hello? Yo, Pikachu Gamer, welcome to Stream Dude. How you doing? Thanks for stopping by tonight. When is the new packs coming out? Oh, Aaron, so they're out right now if you have codes redeemed, but tomorrow they come out in the shop. So you'll, and I think tourneys too, and tourneys too, but you can't use the new cards in the tournaments. But they do come out in the shop. Um, they do come out in the shop tomorrow. At 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Same time as when the set went live today. What other Scizor decks have you tried so far? I just tuned in. Alright, Brandon. Welcome stream. Um, I've tried out Scizor with Frying Pan. I've tried out my Scizor Muck deck that I just uploaded a video on like an hour ago. And uh, we're trying out Scizor Zork right now. So those are the three big ones. I've had suggested, um, I've gotten suggested to me a Scizor Metagross Max Potion deck. Or Magnezone Max Potion too with Scizor, so that's another option, but if you guys have any other Scizor options, leave a comment down below. Alright, let's see what we start with. We get a Zorua start. No turn one, Bridget. That's kind of sad. I think, actually, maybe Countercatcher can go. I don't know. It's either remove Countercatcher, and we can add, like, uh, oh, he's playing Sylvali. Ooh, that's actually kind of bad. I was hoping he'd be playing Malamar. Because Zorak beat, basically Zorak beats Malamar. But Scizor could be good here, but that Fire Memory scares me off quite a bit. Scares me off. Alright, let's see here what my opponent... Alright. Turn 1, Bridget. No, rip. Okay. Rip, that's pretty bad. Um, We have to end him, I think. That, that's a rip. That's a bad hand. Maybe like one treasure, just to increase the turn 1, Bridget odds. Okay. Not the greatest start in the world, I will admit, but you know what? It is what it is. It's fine, I guess. How did the frying pan work out for you? Did you just run frying pan or you split with choice band hustle about Megirna? Nah, Brandon. I played a frying pan with like triple Delmai so that you get the extra damage. So you can start two shotting things a little bit better. Um, the deck did okay. I actually, the only two wins that I think I got were like, oh no, I beat a Venusaur deck. I, made, I had a really good comeback against a Venusaur Genesect deck. It didn't have Sceptile, but I made a really good comeback against that deck. You'll probably be able to watch it after. I've been trying to theorycraft this deck pretty hard myself. I want to make Scissor work. Same, Brandon. I think it's one of the more, like, arguably better cards to come out of the new set. Uh, we'll get rid of Blower, and we'll get rid of Scizor. I'm going to grab Lele, just so I can... Do I want to do Sycamore? I think I just Cynthia. I don't really want to dump the hand. I'm not really a fan of dumping the hand here. I mean, Puzzle, you know, it could come in handy. Yo, yo, Chris, welcome to the stream, dude. How you doing tonight, bro? Um, just trying out some Scizor decks tonight. Right now we're trying out Scizor Zoark. Re I just tested out Scizor Frying Pan Delmai, so that deck did pretty good for us. Alright, no Zoark. That is very unfortunate. Okay. Do I retreat into Lele? I might have to. I don't want to lose my Zorua. That's unfortunate. That's pretty bad. No double puzzle either, which is also sad. I'm getting a little unlucky here. I think we just play too many niche items, like multi-switch counter catcher. Don't need that. I am scared of Fighting Memory, though. Uh, we'll see if Lele gets taken out this turn by Dangerous Rogue. I doubt he plays Choice Band. 
Well, he might. I don't know. Seems... I mean, that's a lot of tools. That is a lot of tools to play. Alright, let's see what happens, though. Hopefully we can just top deck puzzle, and he's gonna knock down my Zoroark. Dang it! Okay. We do have Lele, but if we could top deck puzzle, that would be amazing, so I can get Ultra Ball in my Scizor back. Um... Hmm. So we have the cross cut KO potentially on both Silvalli and Zoark when we need it, but we need to build up Scizor. I think in the meantime, I'm gonna bring out Lele and just try and be careful what I bench. I might either just copycat. I think I have to. I don't want to bench anything else just so I can at least give an extra turn so I can build up my stuff. Okay, pretty miserable hand. We're not drawn very well with this deck. This deck is Buzzhole Food, the other deck that is. Yeah. Did you have uh, to trade for stuff since your packs come tomorrow, LOL? Yep. Unfortunately, I did get some pretty good snipes, though. I got a Fuller Scissor for 5 Celestial Storm packs. And I got a secret or Rainbow Rare Rayquaza f um, for 15 Celestial Storm packs. I just traded that Rainbow Rare Rayquaza for uh, 26 Celestial Storm packs, and now I'm back up to 105 total packs. But I did have to trade off at least 10 to 15 packs to get this Scissor set, which is a little annoying. But once um, the stuff comes out tomorrow in the shop, um, I'll, it'll kind of, what I pull dictates kind of what I need to trade for and stuff. So for now, we're just going to play around with the only real, like, GX deck I can play for the moment. And yeah, that's Scizor, which I think is still a pretty interesting deck to play. I think we're still in trouble here, though. I don't know. This is probably going to be an L. I don't really know how I'm going to be able to win, especially with Fire Memory. Eh, we just saw. I could have Guzma to Zoark. Maybe I should have, but the odds of him having DC or Guzma is so high right now. Not looking good. I mean, after that Venusaur game, it's looking like I shouldn't scoop games, but... What packs are you looking for? Um, not really anything right now. I guess Celestial Storm. And I, maybe Guardians Rising? Um, I'm not, I don't really stock up Guardians Rising. I, don't, I just stock up whatever packs attorneys give me, but... I guess Celestial Storm, just because its value is so good right now. Trying to trade off as many as the Storm Packs as I can. Just get a bunch of Full Arts and Rainbow Rares. I think I'm just going to concede. I don't see how I'm winning this. I don't know. Maybe I should have just stayed in the game if I drew something good. But I want to at least have the deck, you know, do good for me. So we'll have another match with the deck. So again, if you guys have any other Scizor deck suggestions that um, you guys can think of, um, drop a thing in the chat and I can build it after this another game we do here with Zorak Scizor. And I feel like Zorak Scizor might be, might be better than, like, uh, the other metal versions of Zorak you see with uh, B-String. We're not playing as many new decks, though, which I'm kind of sad about. I was expecting to play against nothing but Rayquaza, but I haven't seen a single Rayquaza deck at all today. I don't know. Do you always put code by code at the packs you buy, or is it the faster way? Well, I usually get them emailed to me, because um, I live so far away. The places that sell them aren't in, um, they're not in, uh, what's his face? They're not from Canada. They're from the United States. So if I get them shipped, they usually take a while to get here. Um... So, yeah, that copycat was so bad it was. So, yeah, I just, um, I get them emailed. I got 95 codes emailed to me last night. Or, no, it was, I think it was 117. And I just, I just copy and pasted them. It took me about maybe, like, 25 minutes to uh, copy and paste all the uh, codes that I ordered off Card Cavern TCG. Which, I gotta remember, I gotta give a shout-out to Card Cavern TCG in my pack opening video tomorrow. But how do you, how do you input them into the game fast? Um, before I did scan them, but I don't, you know, you can't scan emails. Um, um, well, I'm on Mac, so I, I command C, and then I command V, um, command C copies the code, and then, what was a post rotation deck? Well, it feels bad, man, because I'm playing pre rotation. Gotta go see it. Alright, Pokemon Master, say something by in the stream tonight. Have a good night, bro. Um, and then I just pressed command V in the redeem codes part, and it just immediately did it, and then I pressed enter. Um, I was at least doing 10 to 12 codes a minute. So it's pretty pretty efficient, I'd say. I feel a little dirty here because he's playing a uh, post rotation build, but whatever. It's the quickest way to do it, I think. Peter is just, I mean, you if you don't have a Mac, the best way to do it is copy and paste the code with your mouse, and then um, paste. Oh no, you can't. Mm, there is there any? Uh, what computer do you have? You have a Mac. There's commands for it, but I don't know if you don't have a MacBook, you're not gonna be able to uh, use these same uh, commands copy and paste the codes into redeem codes. I don't know. The way I did it was just command V, command C. It took me like, again, pretty good. It's pretty quick and efficient.
It was getting annoying though. Sometimes the thing would glitch out and I couldn't paste the code. So I had to like close PC Joe and restart it. It was a bit of a nightmare at times, but it was efficient enough. Field Blur gets discarded. Zora Lycan Rocket looks like. From the fighting type. Ooh, no DCE. Okay, we drew an Ultra Ball, which is good. I, oh, I really don't want to parallel him, man. It's so dirty to do this, because he's playing. Oh, man, I'm so sorry, buddy. Oh, I don't want to play parallel. It's such a dirty play, because he's not playing a pre-rotation deck. I don't know. It, I might actually even just discard it. Everything I want to keep in this game. I guess Choice Bank can go, because we have puzzle. I don't know. I'm, I was going to give it a parallel. I don't want to play it, to be honest, because it's such a dirty play. Um, okay. Hmm. I could just gamble a hit float, or I could just ride his beat and take out one of these Zorulas. I don't hate that. And then I guess Lele Ace Rolla, but if we don't get Scizor, then there's no point in doing that. I don't know. This is a very interesting predicament to be in. I mean, I guess we do take a prize. I hate to do this to you, buddy, because I, I know he probably, you know, doesn't have any other way to stop it. He can't puzzle for uh, Field Blower, and he might only play two. I feel really bad doing this. Because, oh man, I'm sorry, dude, but, uh, yeah, this is why I do friend battles in post stations. You still play against real decks. People are still playing the game with real decks. All right, well, we actually might be able to pull off the Ace Rolla combo. That's pretty good, unless it's prized. I do feel pretty bad, though, for, uh, Playing parallel, but I mean that's what he gets for playing position against Kappa. Oh, never mind. He gets the Broward Field, but that does help my uh, Zork out. So I mean, not that it matters. We don't have any other damage boosters from this deck either. I guess I do play Delinquent, but Kikui wouldn't be terrible either. I guess then Scizor can maybe start doing two shots because it is pretty weak without Choice Band and the ability. So I don't know. Kikui isn't terrible, I guess, in this deck either. I don't know. Let's see what my opponent gets here. Does he find his DC finally? Or is he going to not have it? Is the question. Oh, he gets Buzzle. That's fine. He can't knock me out with it. And if he's playing Pulse Chasing, he doesn't have access to Strong Energy. I am a little scared of Lycanroc, though. But again, we can cross-cut one-shot it, I guess. So there's something there. He's got Triple Zorak in play. Even Pulse Rotation, that's still kind of scary. He has burned two Guzma, so that's pretty interesting. He does find DCE. He finds Choice Band, too. But again, we're going to hopefully... Alright, let's see what we top deck. Alright, no Zorua. We're going to have to trade the end off. Oh no, please don't leg out on me. Oh no, guys. See, this is why I didn't live stream as much, because my internet connection is not the greatest. Oh, and yeah, my internet just pooped out. Awesome. Oh no, guys. Alright, we're back. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. Hope we are back online now, so it's all good. I do apologize though for that lag out. Ugh. My internet is not the greatest. Ooh. I mean, we kind of have to do double puzzle. We're gonna have to get rid of them if we're gonna. I mean, if Ace Roll is prize, this is gonna burn. I guess I can still grab Sycamore with Lele. We'll see. That is a really bad Ultra Ball though. Yikes. Oh no, not again. Ugh, my internet is so bad. This is why I do struggle streaming, guys. Is because I get I get instances like this where I get yep, yeah, my stream is complete. No, I'm not done streaming yet. Ah, <sighs> my internet, my internet, my internet is Ace Roller prized. It's not alright, good. Ah, <sighs> sorry about that, guys. Oh man, I hate my internet a lot. Ugh, it annoys me. Oh, man, I might get disconnected on this game, too. All right, come on. Oh, this is so annoying. I have all my settings on low, too, just so I'm not burning all my internet, but this is a major rip in the chat. Come on. Garbage internet. Garbage, garbage internet. All right. You guys can still hear me. I'm still trying. Okay, stream is resumed, but... I got I got that beautiful beautiful red bar. Uh, 
my internet, man. That's why I kind of took a year off streaming, because it's like, it's hard for me to stream sometimes when my internet's like this. Wish I had choice band right now. We'll just settle for a nice tall JV damage, which isn't doing a lot, but it's fine. Not good. This is not great. I might end the stream soon anyways. I don't know. We'll try and pick up the stream tomorrow. But yeah, this is kind of tragic. This is tragic. I really don't want to end off the stream because of, like, horrible internet issues. But I don't know, man. If it doesn't fix soon, I might just have to end it. But I'll probably stream again tomorrow for sure, but... <sighs> Roll my eyes. That's all I gotta say, roll my eyes. We'll see what my opponent does. I doubt Scizor gets KO'd. I could just follow up with a knockout with cross cut. Uh, the double puzzle discards bad. I might be able to KO Mazork though with what I top deck. Let's see. Okay. Hopefully the internet goes back to normal. Come on, come on, go back to normal. I'm dropping viewers. <laughs> I think I'm gonna end the stream off after this game. Or even just now. This is. This is... Ah, guys, 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 I apologize. May have to end the stream now. Internet does not seem... Oh, okay, we're back to green, we're back to green. We're back to green, this is good. You can with my deck, yeah. I might, I might have to end the stream. Hopefully everything is back to normal. Oh, wow, he ace rolled it. All right, well, I guess we can try and dig for choice ban. We haven't played one. No, we have. We'll try and dig for choice ban, then. Oh, he's playing Bayonet, but with Buzzwool? Huh? I guess he's playing Rainbow Energy. I don't know. I might have to end the stream after this game, though, guys. But, um, you know, I knew it wasn't going to be a long stream anyways. Oh, wow. What kind of a top deck is that? That's, that's bonkers. All right. We're probably going to lose our Scizor here. We do have, I guess we do have Steel Wing active, but uh, if he doesn't KO me, at the very least, we knock out his Zoark, which is clutch. 300, holy catch, chill out, Zoark, chill out. There's Scyther, another DC, right, perfect. I don't want to end the stream early, though. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, I did say I was probably going to stream for like 40 minutes to an hour. So I'll probably end the stream after this game, guys, but um, I'll try and stream again tomorrow once, you know, actually I get more cards after my packs I open. And I'll be hyped for tomorrow, where hopefully my internet actually cooperates. But yeah, this is kind of why I took that, you know, kind of a huge break from streaming. is because I always got these stream issues. It's pretty bad. He's actually going to try and attack me with Bayonet here. Which is fine. We can follow with the KO with Zoark. No, he's actually going to play Skateboard. No, wait, is that a knockout? Yes, it is. Rip. Scizor, dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Alright, that kind of sucks. But we are up three prizes. It's, you know, it's definitely not far. It's far from over, though, for sure. But uh, we're up three prizes. I don't. I do want to end him this turn. So I don't know if we, we might be able to pull an end off. If we can, that'll be pretty clutch. I don't know. I'm not really liking the Scizor Zorark deck though. Not gonna lie, it's not my favorite build of Zorark, but whatever. He's actually gonna play Lele. Hmm. I wonder what he's grabbing. I don't think there's many disruption supporters unless he's playing one team Skullgrunt. No, he's grabbing Ace Rolla. That is evil. He is preparing for next turn. Awesome. Hmm. Okay. I think a QE might be a good one of in this deck. I guess we have to just pray that we try and get an in off this turn. I don't remember if I play two or one. I think I only play one, so that's a bit of a rip in the chat. Uh, we'll trade off Metal Energy. Alright, rip. We didn't find an a, a way to end him, so I guess we kind of just have to suck it up and take the uh, ace roller. I hate that, though. That's pretty sad. Alright, let's see what we get. Okay, field blower is pretty good. There's a puzzle, so that's pretty nice for next turn. No other Zoark, though. Where are our Zoarks at? Sucks we know he has ace roller, but whatever. He's playing a ton of supporters because of Bayonet, so you kind of have to expect that. Alright, but let's see. Does my opponent do anything else other than Ace Roll? An Enhanced Hammer would be also very deadly. Hopefully that doesn't happen. This is bad. Uh, we're getting beaten up by a Pulse Rotation deck. That kind of just proves that maybe Scissor Zoark is not the play. 
just not the play. I don't know. There's really no other, like, good Metal Zorak deck, but... Yeah, I don't know if Scizor Zorak has it. It is nice to have cross-cut. It's basically like having Dangerous Rogue 2.0 in a way. Sort of-ish, not really. But, I don't know. I mean, we could always ace roll him, too, so... That option is still out there. We just need to get one of the other... I knew we had an Enhanced Hammer. Oh, my gosh. So, we're, we still have two DCs left. Um, we can get... Puzzle here could be big. I doubt he plays any more East Rollers. We need to find other Zoark, though. Where are they at? Okay, that... Mm, I don't know where our other Zoarks are at. I doubt that's going to matter. I think that's his third one. Oh, uh, this is pretty brutal. Um, We'll bring out Buzzwell, I guess, and just bring out Mewtwo for now. I don't know. He probably has another Guzma. He's played two, though, but he's got three, most likely. I don't know. I doubt we're going to win this game. We are getting horrible draws. We're not getting anything good off trade. So, yeah, I don't know. I think we're going to lose this game, which kind of sucks. This is a post trade deck. Technically, it does a decent matchup, too. Scizor does okay against Zoark, and Bayonet gets um, slapped by uh, Zoark. So, it's a bit of an odd loss, especially because we have the advantage because we're playing post trade but we're drawing pretty miserably here. So, <laughs> yeah, maybe Scizor Zoark just likes to troll. I don't know. I mean, if this thing's stopped, there's Guzma. That's our last Zoark, because for some reason we can't find our other Zoarks, for some reason. But yeah, I think we're going to off the stream after this match, guys. We just kind of go from there. Not much else to do. Um, but yeah, I think it's okay. We, there's not really that many Scizor decks for now, anyways, but um, in the future we can try out more. Alright, we just need... We can need a Puzzle Top deck, I'll be happy. Oh my gosh. Okay, well... It's not a rip yet. I could still buy a turn. I don't know. I don't know. This could buy us a turn. Who knows? Probably lost. Uh, the, the draws with this deck are abysmal, though. I've never drawn battle with Zork before. Or whenever I do play against Zork, they get everything they need. So that's a little that's a little annoying. It is what it is, though. Whatever. It just proves that Zork Scizor is not the archetype to play. I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. We can do Mallow, so that confirms he gets his last DC, unless it's prized. We could just go with Skateboard and, like, an Energy if he really wanted to. It's probably game over. It's probably game over. I do like the idea, though. Rainbow Energy, Buzzle, Bayonet, Zork. Seems like a cool idea. So I gotta give credit where credit is due to the Rogue. And Skateboard, right? Yeah, rip. That's game. We took a hard L there, but I'm gonna probably wrap up the stream there, guys. An hour-long stream is good. We only played one GX the entire stream. But tomorrow, I'm going to try and live stream again, for sure, if I'm not busy. I'm going to see if I can stream again. Oh, we're not out yet. Right, I'm an idiot. Okay. I oh, rip. And we drew Ultra Ball. Wow, okay. Okay, so we're not out yet. That's good. I did bring up the wrong Pokemon, though, because I thought I lost, but whatever. Um, hmm. I, get, I might just grab Cynthia. I might end him to one, but it's only we're getting three cards. Wow. Wow. That's all I gotta say is wow. Nice. Alright, well, I'm gonna wrap up the stream here, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I apologize for the lag again. The bad internet. It's kind of why I don't... I didn't like streaming a lot back in the day. Um, kind of why I took a year off. It's just because I always have these problems where my internet kind of is like, you know, complete bad and it's just horrible. It happened again tonight, which is very annoying. But I'm gonna try and just, you know, we just plow through it. Just suck it up. But anyway, thanks for everyone who tuned out to the stream tonight. Hope you guys all enjoyed your night. Hope you guys are going to do good with your polls tomorrow. I'll see you guys tomorrow for a pack opening video, another deck video, and also probably another live stream tomorrow. Catch you guys later. Have a good night, and uh, yeah, peace out.